Good morning. I'm going to show you how to do the web search. This is basically just the same thing that I showed you in class. Uh, maybe a little bit more involved, but I'm going to go step by step. I'll show you how to find an image, copy it, get it into your page, create the hyperlink, text box, all of that stuff. So if you need to skip ahead because you already know how to do some parts, fine. If you need to replay some parts because you didn't get it, that's good too. Okay, so first I'm going to go to a Word document and you can use one that you used last week. It does not need to be a new one. It can be the one that you started in class where you already have one of them done. I'm good with that. Now keep in mind, I'm only doing one recording and this particular recording is going to be based on Intro to 3D and the web search for them. So whichever other class you're in, you're doing the web search based on your class, not on the web search for Intro to 3D. So ceramics, you'll be looking for ceramics things, jewelry, jewelry things, and so on. Um, so again, don't be thrown off because this demo is on an Intro to 3D web search. So there you go. Okay, so um, I've got my document. Um, I should save that document. Um, I guess at home you're probably going to need to save it on your desktop. Um, or flash drive or wherever. When you get back to school, I recommend putting it on your um, network drive as well, just to make sure um, that if you need it, you've got it, and there's nothing going to happen if you get the blue screen of death. All right, so I'm going to go to a search engine. Um, you can use Yahoo, Google, whatever works for you. That's what you should use. Now for Intro to 3D, which is search large public sculptures or public sculptures and this is the one that I've chosen to start with this little dandelion one and I want to take it as far as I can in terms of the search so I've got a hyperlink down here I'm going to pursue and I know for some of you it's going to be blocked a lot of things are blocked maybe not as much at home it's hard to say but take that web search a little bit further okay so um, the reason I wanted to take it further is I wanted to see who the artist was. Sometimes you're going to be able to find it, sometimes you won't. Um, so this particular one is by Mark Baltus, and there's a link to more information about this artwork. But I'm wanting to get this picture, so I'm going to use this, the snipping tool. Hopefully you remember you should have gone under the start menu. If you have not done this yet, I'll go ahead and do it. You click on your start menu and type snip. You should see the snipping tool right there. And if you right click, go down and pin to taskbar. Mine says unpin from taskbar because I already have it. You can also pin it to your start menu if you want to. Um, but then click click again on that pin. And then it will show up on your, your start menu. And then you can select that. I'm going to select new because I want to show you how to do it. Oops. My apologies. Okay, so back on the screen I want to be on. I'll click on snip. New. It's going to gray that area. And I'm going to select just my picture by clicking and dragging down. So that means it's copied. And I'm going to go to my Word document and I'm going to paste. I will use control V. I suppose you can also do um, right click and paste options but I just like the shortcut keys. Now at this point I can't move that. I recommend double click, uh, left click, double click, wrap text, select in front of text. Now you can move it so it's going to be easier to add additional ones. And it also makes it so that you can change the size of it. I'm going to click on the corner so it doesn't change proportions. And I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And then I'm going to add a text box. So insert text box, oops, text box, draw text box, click and drag, add below that. And I want to create um, a hyperlink. Yeah, remember that was Mark Baltus. If you could not find the artist's name, you could also create, um, you could do artist unknown, 
But again, try and do a little bit of web search first. Then you're going to highlight that. Again, insert, create link, create link, and that should come up. Oops. Don't know what just happened there. Okay, insert, there we go. Hyperlink, there we go. And then you're going to insert the web address there. So I need to go back. And I could stop here or I could keep going. And if I keep going, so I've just found more information about it. I can click there to watch a video if I'm interested in learning more about this. Um, it's got more information. So I think this is a good place to stop with this one. So I'm going to highlight that. I'm going to control C or copy that web address. Go back to my Word document. That box is still open. So I'm going to paste there. Click OK. And so now that's blue and underlined, which means that's my link. When I grade these, I'm going to scroll over and see that they've got links. I'll click on some of them, see that they work. But I've got that. Then I'm going to return and and write some notes. And they don't have to be terribly lengthy. But explain why did you select this one? Um, and you know, just briefly, I liked the combination of the linear stem. Now, see how that starts going off? I can enlarge that text box. I can also make this smaller text if I want to to get some more in there. Okay, so I'm going to make that just 10 point. I like the smaller stem paired with the fine detail of the, oops, of the flower head. And I can continue that. Now, for time's sake, I'm not going to. I'm going to stop there. But I'm going to add, add some text to that. Now, I would like you to also group these two parts, both the image and the text box. So I'm going to, um, I clicked on that box, and I'm going to hold down the Shift key, click on the other box, release the Shift key, and right click, scroll down, Here's group, group, and now if I move, the text box stays with the image. All right, so that works out very well. If I need to add more to that text box, if I click off of it, click back on, it has the group section. If I click on just the text box, I can pull that down and I can make that text box larger or smaller. Okay, so I can make sure that that all shows. And then I just continue with my web search from here to add new pieces. Okay, so that should cover everything. So if I want to add another image there, I can select that. If you have trouble, if it's not letting you go beside, don't fret about it. Just add things below. Um, so I've added my instructions are up above there. So I can add there. Um, if that's causing problems, you can instead on text wrap before you do that perhaps select behind text if that's causing you problems so hopefully um, all of that works you can always add things above if it seems like it's not working um, let me know if there's an issue okay so I think that pretty well covers all the steps now you are doing a search of eight images.